And people ask me all the time, well, how are you sure? How can you be sure that 528 hertz frequency and 528 nanometers of light is pure tone love or pure color love? Well, the massive amount of science and uh, even scriptural evidence for that is in the book of 528. Uh, the simplest way to look at it is the saying, as above, so below. What's true for the macrocosm is true for the microscopic realm of your DNA. And so when you begin to understand that everything in the universe is musically, mathematically administered, and that if you look at a rainbow, which is the sunlight coming through water in the sky, you see the heart of that rainbow is greenish yellow, which is the chlorophyll pigment in the botanical world that gives us the ha, the oxygen that we breathe, that carries the electron that is resonating and vibrating in that frequency, primarily, fundamentally, at its heart. So as above, so below. If it's true for the heart of the rainbow, and it's true for the heart of the sun, then it's true for your heart, and it's true for God's heart. And so that's what it is. It's a clear channel broadcast between God's heart and your heart that we're actually breathing and sustains us in this thing called oxygen, which is part of water. And again, you go back to the scripture of uh, Genesis 1-1, the water was there before you even had the Holy Spirit mentioned in the Bible, you had the water. So your body is 80% God, literally. You're part of the triune God. Before there was the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in history, there was the triune God that Jesus preached and talked about and studied, and that was the Creator, the water, and then the Holy Spirit. Now you get into Genesis 1-2, where the Holy Spirit of the Creator hovered over the face of the water, divided the water from the water to create and in, in inspire through the words, let there be light, the sun. And again, I just mentioned, the heart of the sun is 528. It's pure own love. And so that's, you know, just a little glimpse at about 500 and some pages of proof that 528 hertz frequency of sound and 528 nanometers of light, which match uniquely as the sound and light spectrums, very uniquely they match and pair up at the heart. And that is consistent with everything we know from the world of mathematics and physics and sacred geometrics, the understanding of how creator administers creation through what the Bible says is the spoken word. But what is word but sound? What is sound but electromagnetic frequencies? What is that? Simply mathematics. Mathematics. So the administrative technology for creation is musical math. And if you now have that information and how simple it is to understand now why it is that wheat, grass, juice cure cancer and cure cancer patients, why it is that when animals get sick, they go and eat grass. There's something in that grass that produces healing, natural healing. What is it? Fundamentally, besides the enzymes and the minerals, it is this magnificent love frequency. Let's talk about more. Like, I know there's people out there that aren't sure about how they can get healthy, and I think it's really, really important for them to know that I think it starts with the water that they're drinking. Yeah, absolutely. Again, 80% of your body is water, and actually one of the ways in which we're shattering the medical paradigm and for those of you who are just new to the hurricane hour and new to what we do, uh, we've been heavily attacked, Sherry and I have, by what's called COINTEL Pro because of the awesome revelations and the amazing revelations that are literally uh, expanding natural healing. And that is contrary to what the drug industry wants to have happen. So when you talk about natural healing, you begin to realize that, as I mentioned, 80% of your body is water, and if you put in your body the, the right types of water. Now, what I recommend, 80% of the water that drinks should be mineralized. It should be ideally spring water. Fresh spring water actually has minerals in it, and it's actually structured. As it comes through the earth, it spins, 
And because the earth is made of lava rock, and all that lava rock is the source of all the minerals on the planet, now you've got little geomagnetism, you've got all sorts of things happening whereby the spinning water creates, gets an energy uh, impregnated into it. It gets infused into it. Don't forget, water is kind of like a silicon chip in a way. It's a liquid crystal. And liquid crystals are superconductors of sound and light. And so when that water comes up through fresh springs and it brings with it minerals and it's magnetized with the electromechanics and the geophysics that's happening as it moves through the ground, that is really enlivening. And it's enlivening because it's what's called structured water, largely. It has a six-sided hexagonal ring shape if you freeze it, flash freeze it, what's called cryogenic freezing of the water. You'll see that it's very uniquely shaped like a snowflake. And, again, the question, this goes back to the initial question that I asked, people want to know all the time, you know, how do you know 528 love uh, is, you know, one and the same? Because, again, why is a snowflake six-sided? Why isn't it seven-sided? Uh, why is it that the organic chemistry ring is six-sided? It's not seven-sided. And so carbon six, that's six. If you add five plus two plus eight, you get 15, and then you add one plus five, that's six. And it's called miracle six. In fact, it's the third note of the original musical scale, Do Re Mi, Miracle Storm in Latin, Miracles in English is the name of the third note. Well, love is the universal healer. It is the miracle worker. And it does that particularly in your water-filled body, which transmits like a liquid crystal that frequency of energy that fundamentally we have restored every time we breathe. Because every time we breathe, as I mentioned, you're bringing in that ha, that prana, that Holy Spirit power of divine love from the Creator's heart through the sunshine, through the water, through the plants, through the, uh, your lungs, into the blood carried by hemoglobin, which is structurally identical to chlorophyll. Now, that's another amazing reality. You know, you begin to see how simple this knowledge is. Once you start to grasp it, you know, you've got to study it a little bit, but once you start to get your head around it, man, it is so awesome because it's life-changing. Everywhere you look, you can see the magnificence of God and the administration through musical mathematics and sacred geometry of everything that you're looking at, including yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think that, that book, Healing Celebrations, is a really good book to read. It really gives people a lot of information on how to get healthy, and it's available at HealthyWorldStore.com. Actually, I think it's also available at HealthyWorldAffiliates.com. If you go to HealthyWorldAffiliates.com slash 4948, the book is available on there, and it's an amazing book to read. It will give you a lot of insight on how to get healthy and how to stay healthy, and just simple things like putting lemon in your water to alkalize it is just incredible knowledge that maybe you don't have, maybe your friends don't have, and because most people don't realize, you know, that they're drinking water that's non alkalized and that our body needs that in order to stay healthy. Yes, and that's, again, part of the paradigm-shattering revelations involves what Sherry just mentioned, the water chemistry. Okay, so I mentioned that the best water, 80% of the water that you drink should be fresh mineralized and energized water. Then 20% should be structured. Uh, we have a product called 528 Rejuvenate it's on HealthyWorldStore.com, and that is a wonderful way to produce what's called structured water. Babies, actually infants, and particularly breastfed babies, receive from not only the mother's umbilical cord but also through the breast milk this structuring of the water, which is and when you flash freeze it, it's like the snowflakes. It's mostly six-sided, and that structure increases the energy transmissibility. That means that your DNA is literally electrified. It is electrogenetics that operates the physical mechanics of a cell. The physiology and metabolism are fundamentally based upon the way that the DNA is sending sound and light signals, 
maintaining everything from the surface membranes of the cells and their viability to the entire organism. So the energetics, particularly the water chemistry, because if you don't have alkalinity, then you don't have the right medium by which you can flow electrons. And you can think of that very simply from the water chemistry equation, H plus plus OH minus yields H2O. Think of it again, H plus. What does that mean? H plus means that it's lost an electron. Where is that electron? It went to the oxygen. The oxygen in the OH, negative. That negative indicates it's an electron. So now you have this... So now you have this, uh, was that the parrot going out the door? <laughs> now you've got this electron that is carried by the oxygen, the ha, the prana, the breath of life, but its source is originally from the hydrogen. Now the sun is about 100% hydrogen. It's 98% hydrogen and 2% helium, which is two hydrogen atoms stuck together. And so the sun is actually a donor of electron energy from hydrogen that then from the water literally is carried by the oxygen in the water in your body. And that chemistry, just like a battery, allows for the interchange of electrical and chemical movements in the body that optimizes your health. So if you're a cancer patient or if you're suffering from infectious diseases or if you're suffering from neurological conditions or autoimmune diseases, what you should know, the take-home message, is you want to alkalinize because that means that you have more energy in your body. There's more OH negatives. The negatives carry that extra electron, and the electron is the source of all energy throughout the entire universe. So, again, honoring your Holy Spirit-filled temple as an 80% water vessel that's 80% of your body is God, literally part of the triune God, and that, that energy conductivity moves the electrons and manifests miraculously your actually physical reality, your well-being, your, your uh, actual physical appearance. You know, I've often said also on this program and earlier programs where you don't see anything but electrons in our physical world. When you look in a mirror, all you see is electrons. It's shaping you instant to instant. It's micro instant, nano instant to instant. It's re being remanifested by the movement of electrons. And in fact, the electron is one of the smallest atomic particles. It's far smaller than protons and neutrons. You don't see the larger particles. What you see is the mass electron cloud. And that is the physical reality that we witness when we look out at the world or we look at ourselves in a mirror. So if you recognize that, electrons is where it's at. You want to know the chemistry, the electrochemistry, the electron chemistry. And the most important thing you need to know is if you vibrate those electrons with love, 528, it enhances the Holy Spirit power of protection and rejuvenation. And it's a miraculous manifestation. We're not talking about simple chemistry here. We're talking about that which rules chemistry, the physics, the biophysics underlying the chemical reactions. It's much like, as you've heard in the Bible, it said, it is not against flesh and blood with whom we do battle. It is spiritual warfare and principalities in the spiritual realm. Well, the spiritual realm, you're dealing with metaphysics, and that means energy physics. Ultimately, spirituality is energy. And that energy is all carried the same way, through electrons. Now you can begin to understand we're shattering paradigms. We're not just shifting paradigms here on the hurricane hour. We're shattering the paradigms. They don't work. They don't hold up. They're inconsistent. They're actually dumb and stupid. When you realize that you're a, literally a physical manifestation that's an apparition virtually, you're an electron cloud. You're a spiritual being that's manifesting through the electron appearance that gives us a semblance of what physical reality is, but fundamental to it all. All physical reality is what's happening at the level of the electron. And most importantly, is it in love? Step one I told you is detox. Step two is alkalinize and remineralize because you've got to have vibrating electrons on the minerals to make everything else work because 20% of your body is made of lava rock. 
80% is made of water. Water and lava rock together makes you. And the lava rock contains all of the minerals on the periodic table. And all of those minerals differ primarily because of the number of electrons they have in their outer shells of the atoms that are vibrating uniquely to the frequency of that particular element. And now you begin to understand love, the universal healer, is infused in the harmonics of all the elements of nature. And now you begin to understand that you can now take the next step is boosting or normalizing natural immunity holistically. That's step three. So after you've detoxed, and there's also the Stanley Burroughs Master Cleanser, a simple way to detox is cayenne pepper spiked lemonade. Very inexpensive, very powerful, and very powerfully alkalinizing because cayenne pepper is like roto-rooter for the cardiovascular system. you got cholesterol plaques in your blood vessels. Pull it out with cayenne pepper naturally. And it's also the most alkalinizing nutrition, nutrient you can, or spice that you can add to your food and to your Stanley Burroughs Master Cleanser formula. Cayenne pepper spike lemonade alkalinizes your body and detoxifies your body. And so now after step two, alkalinization, you move on to boosting or normalizing natural immunity holistically. So physically, mentally, emotionally, socially environmentally, and above all, spiritually. These are the lifestyle factors and the holistic model that you need to consider if you want to optimize your health. And, for example, you know, stress, mental and emotional stress causes, you've heard it, heartburn. What is that? Acid indigestion. Acid. There you go. There's that H+, plus. it's given away its energy electron. Now you're depleted of electrons and you're de depleted of oxygen. Another great way to remember this, again, it's paradigm shattering. You can eliminate virtually 90% of medicine. Let's keep the surgeons that piece this together after we have accidental injuries and traumas, but let's get rid of the poisons. And the best way to remember this, the easy way to remember it, is look at Sports physiology. Look at what happens to athletes on the field when they have a, a charley horse or a muscle spasm. You see the uh, physicians running out and the coaches running out to the athlete. And the athlete's down in pain, writhing in pain. And they start to massage the muscle. Let's say it's in his calf, in the leg. And they start to massage it and massage it. Well, what are they doing? That muscle spasm is lactic acid generated acid generated because your muscles do the same thing that you do they burn oxygen and they pee out acid and so that muscle surrounded by the acid it can't relax the muscle spasm is kept in place by the acidification and the body chemistry right around the muscle by massaging it and moving the lymph and moving the area and alkalinizing the area by refreshing it with new water and new alkalinized lymph, what you then have is that the muscle relaxes and the pain goes away. That is a model that you can take to the bank. You can bank on it every single time you get sick with any disease because that's how all diseases operate in the same way. There's a reduction of the alkalinization the electrons, there's a reduced a number of energy electrons, there is a hypoxia, a low oxygen level in the tissues. And so that's now going back then to the model, the five steps in the healing celebration protocol. Now you're talking about uh, oxygenation. And of course, when you're under stress, this is now step three, stress and tension causes acidification and shallow breathing. People don't breathe right when they're stressed. They feel like they have a heavy weight on their chest, so you have low oxygen. Now, step four deals with getting more oxygen into your body every way possible. You know, when you take paraplegics and quadriplegics or the divers who are suffering from the bends when they actually go uh, up to the surface too quickly, they, their muscles 
go into spasm and the neurochemistry becomes acidified. You put them in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber whereby you've got the oxygen carrying the electrons. Now suddenly you're restoring the body chemistry, alkalizing it, and all of a sudden the neurochemistry, the nerves and muscles start to work again miraculously. And so you even have paraplegics and quadriplegics going to hyperbaric oxygenation therapy centers and getting dramatic relief in many cases. Likewise, you have the same thing for infectious disease patients. Put people under oxygen tents, and suddenly now you can get rid of a lot more infectious disease. And again, why is, it, why is that so? It goes back to the simple equation. Always, always, always remember it goes back to the H plus plus OH minus plus H2O water chemistry equation. And what happens is that in infectious diseases, like that muscle spasm, the, the germs are causing inflammation. That means your white blood cell bodyguards pour into wherever the infection is. It gets hot. It gets red. It gets swollen and painful because you've got a, a war going on in that area between the germs and your own body. And what does those white blood cell bodyguards, the lymphocytes and the macrophages do in that war zone. They do the same thing that the muscle does, and you do. They gobble up oxygen, and they pee out acid. And so that is, again, the fundamental understanding of why infectious diseases can be alleviated by alkalinization or alkalizing therapies or alkalizing products. We urge you to get OxySilver. OxySilver.com has OxySilver, as does HealthyWorldAffiliates.com slash forward 4948. Sign up and distribute. Help us save lives through OxySilver. OxySilver is a double superconductor. It's water that has attached to the oxygen in the water molecule by what's called a covalent bond. It has a small particle of silver. Silver is one of the top three superconductors of energy electrons. And water is also a superconductor of sound and light electrons. So oxysilver is a double superconductor that's manufactured to vibrate specifically at love frequency 528 and greenish yellow light frequency of 528 nanometers. So that's what you're taking when you take oxysilver. It's, it's actually a holy water. It's not only the best broad-spectrum antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, antiparasite. It's not only that. It not only makes all vaccinations and antibiotics obsolete. It not only does that but it actually works how your heart works with heartfelt loving intention in prayer, faithful prayer, because faith is in your heart. Heartfelt loving intention with prayer produces miracles. Everybody who is a, a true Judeo-Christian Muslim knows that. And so that, that technology of miraculous manifestation through faithful prayer is the technology that we use for the design of oxysilver because now you have a double superconductor that vibrates to the channel of love that's in your heart and God's heart. That clear channel broadcast, as I mentioned earlier, coming from God's heart through the sunshine, through the water, into the oxygen we're breathing in the prana, we begin to realize we are a manifestation of love, frequency, vibrations. And so you put those frequency vibrations of love into oxysilver, and now you've got a double superconductor of love that specifically connects with and works with the power in your own heart for a miraculous healing. 